All right, let's do the daily wordle. Bordle, not wordle. Compete with others to guess Tenno comes correctly. Okay. Let's see. The Exalted Augment, which is a lot of money, but not a lot of power. They do have Exalted in, though. They have Stationary Support with Anti-Heal. Nothing here really requires Anti-Heal, so that's pretty non-existent. But also, this board has Bard 1 with Sunfire and Teemo 1. This has Senna 2, so this isn't even close. This board does not have any damage. This board has damage. No frontline, but it doesn't matter. Okay. 1 out of 10. This is Ink Shadow. It's th only 3 Ink Shadow. It is Bombardment Rune, which is pretty good. It does have uh, have Trick Shot as well with Exile, which is a lot of extra frontline. The Shen is decently tanky. It does pretty well in Desira as well. This is going to take a long time to cast. And if this is an ult during the cast, I probably won't do too much damage because she's very, like, um, like little ticks of damage oriented. There's basically no frontline here. They are 3 Sage. They have, oh, they have a Lowie too. Oh, shit. This is a tough one, actually. The Silver player has no frontline. And they have an Alawi too, and a Zoe. I'm going to say it's the Zyra player, I think. I, I feel like this takes a while to cast. But I don't see Alawi dying very quickly. And this actually does decent damage, and this does decent, does decent damage as well. There's also a world where I think Diana like can wrap to backline after Ribbon dies or something, which could be pretty good. So I think it's probably Morgana. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Nice. Well done, me. Let's see. We got... Okay, so this is a later game board. This is at least after stage four, or there was an augment. Or an encounter that changed it. But this is pumping up. So this is probably a lot of pumping up value at this point, right? If it's if it's post stage four. This is probably, like, quite a bit. They're both level seven. So this is probably, like, 15 or 16% attack speed at this point. Flight of hand is giving what value the lilia it's lilia too and reinforcement so they're kind of down to value there and this is against okay so it's not not a lot of power in these two they did get perfect items and they have you have my sword they're lee one they do have a recon they are six duelists i feel like my guess for how this fight goes is that they just can't kill this volibear I think they lack the damage to kill the Volibear. Like, the Lilia's not doing that much damage. The Cho'Gath's over here. Well, this dies pretty quickly, but then the Recon cast reduces damage even more. Kiana has a really bad angle, too, but I think, like, this is enough damage and this is too tanky, so I'm going to say Morgana wins. Okay. Cool. Very nice. Very nice. Perfect so far. The daily... Uh, I started reading the top. <laughs> okay, we have Silver Spoon and Band of Thieves. Band of Thieves on a Kiana 1 isn't bad, but it is dying pretty quickly to the Sivir. It's Yasuo 2, Darius 2, though. Cho'Gath, the Kiana. Are you going to jump in at, like, a really bad time or something? I don't know, but they were really smart. Like, a person who did come up with this stuff. Yeah, this is the first YouTube video, by the way, that's going to be from stream. So, uh, it's going to be a little bit different, maybe. They do have a Rage Blade. There are three Mythic. I don't think there's any way in hell this board wins. Yeah, there's just there's not enough damage, not enough front line, not enough anything, not enough unit quality. Okay, pick the litter. Partial Ascension. Does the fight go long enough for Partial Ascension to activate? I think there's a decent chance. Yorick 2, Shen 2, and the damage here is like Naked Senna, Naked Caitlyn with just a lot of, a lot of their value is in here, so they must have like a ton of items on bench. I'm fairly certain this Alune just wins super hard. The thing is, this fight's going long for sure. These guys can't do enough damage. There's there, there's no Ink Shadow or anything, right? They don't do nearly enough damage to actually break through this this stuff. They have a Silas as well, obviously, which is just like on his own insane unit quality with four Umbrals. So this is this is surely a Zed win. Okay, we have Story Champions with Mana Zane. I don't think I've ever seen that in my life with little buddies. In zero little, I guess there's two little pieces of little buddies value. Versus, and, and okay, I mean, let's go through it bit by bit. So Story Champions, the Garen has no items, really. There's a Zoe 2 with some items that doesn't get any value from any of the three augments. It's not in the Kale, uh, the Kale AoE either. The Sivir 3 is interesting. The Galio is like potentially tanky, but there's no Bruiser on the board, so they're not really that tanky. And then this board is Melfight 3, Kiana with some ramp and some healing. Soraka 3, or Soraka 2 rather, Lee Sin, Orn, and a Sneeko that might ascend?
Is Garen player is cooking? Yeah, Garen player is cooking. Unfortunately, I think they're cooking their way to a bot four. I I would be so shocked if this Garen player won this fight. Right, because this Melfight is just really tanky. I, I guess it depends on how good Mana Zane's to champion is, but I don't think it's that good. And this is Pop Blossom, Drop Blossom Nico. I was like Pop Blossom. That's her ability. I'm going to say Morgado wins. Yeah. There's no way, man. There's absolutely no way. <laughs> There's no way in hell. All right. This is a slightly tougher one. So this is somewhere in stage three, more than likely. It is a reroll augment with the Dragon Claw thing without a lot of the actual items dropped from it yet versus two healthy, right? Two healthy and Kitter's ally. It's probably Kitter's ally, Nar. I'm imagining the nar does have no healing so this is this is a tougher one for sure the fights go long the bard has a rage blade uh i i feel like i feel like this allowee oh allowee has no warden though oh it makes it so much harder allowee not having warden because i would say if they had warden in, i'd say the allowee player wins for sure but they have Orn on the Nar now too. The Nar might get a healing item from Orn. I'm gonna say it's probably a Nar win. This Alawi actually is butter. I'm pretty sure this Alawi is butter. And this has like a decent amount of HP. All right, apparently I'm just wrong. Damn. I guess it depends on what the Orn item gives. I'm, I'm surprised. I feel like no Warden Alawi there just dies, but all right. First one wrong. That's okay. The one you want to know Dryad stacks? Yeah, probably not that many considering it's stage three. Do, do, do. Did the AI agree with me? Uh, we have Aphelios, Ari, Jax, to Yasuo, with no with a naked dummy versus three faded TK Rexai Kindred. Uh, okay, so let, let, let's take let's bring this down bit by bit. Bring this down bit by bit. So this dummy does literally nothing. It gets hit, I guess, right? It gets hit. I'm assuming that it's going to be Kindred linked with one of these. I don't think you can link these together, can you? If you can link these together... I mean, even if you don't link these together, these guys are actually pretty tanky here. This Jax does no damage, has no synergies. This Ari does damage, has just faded. The Felios is like the worst unit in the game. He's not doing anything. Yasuo 1 doesn't do anything. The thing is, I'm pretty sure Rek'Sai just kills. You can link two emblems. Okay, I feel like that makes this this frontline unkillable then. Right, because Rek'Sai gets a bunch of armor a bunch of armor and armor from her ability. She's going to kill both of these. This isn't doing anything. This never kills this if he's healing. Like, he literally just drain tanks this thing the entire fight. Ari does damage to this, but I'm pretty sure this thing doesn't die. And it has Dryad as well. I mean, I... I... <laughs> I mean, obviously it's four units versus three units, but I feel like if you link these two together, there's no way this loses. Because how does this ever break through that? I mean, th this already doesn't do enough damage. The positioning is, like, very, very good as well. Does it just go? So that these don't both get hit by the Ari. I mean, I think you have to assume that, right? I mean, if they didn't, I'm pretty sure that even if it's just, like, this, this link, I'm pretty sure this can still never kill this, and this also just outheals this. Because th this, like, kills Yasuo just by consequence, like... Yasuo is dead very quickly in the fight, right? Because he gets hit by Rexai ult, gets hit by Kindred ult. And once Yasuo is dead, Kindred starts hitting this and this. Once this dies, he walks down to backline and kills this. And then she's probably still on this. Because so I think this takes a lot. I think these two, like these three, have a really hard time actually breaking this Rexai. Which means that this die, or this dies very quickly. This is the first unit to die for sure. Then this dies. Then this and this walk to this. And then if this dies while these two are on this, this still wins, right? Because TK is like full HP and they just both kill this. I'm going to say it's a Morgana player. Okay, I predict that was a 90% win for the other guy, huh? I think it's because that doesn't take into account the links. I'm pretty sure the link... Because, like, 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 the Ari... Like, Ari Aphelios link, Ari Yasuo link, all of them are worthless. Um, like, the links on that side of the board are really bad. And the link on the side of the board is, is always good no matter what. I feel like that, that one's a, a tough one, but... Server, is it Tournament Realm? I don't think so. It's a diamond. There's no ranks in Tournament Realm. Turkey. That's a tough one, though. Yeah, I feel like you have to like, really investigate pathing and how good the links are for that one. All right. Uh, we have... Scoreboard Scrapper. Scraper. Scrapper. He's nuts. Fortune Crown and Cyberbulk. 
what a bulk value, I will say. Like, a ton of bulk value and upgraded backline. But this is Fast 9 with Combat Caster, and it's Hui 2 Azir 2. Really good TG Wukong. Really good. Okay, they have Lucky Gloves. What the hell? <laughs> Orin 2 Rakan 2. I this, this should be a pretty clear win, I think, from the Morgana board. Yeah. It's just it's just way too much unit value unit quality. No matter how high value score where scrapper is here, scraper, scrapper, I'm gonna say scraper. It's just the, the board is literally worth twice as much gold, right? You can see here 107 versus 57. That's just not gonna you're not gonna be able to beat that with just you know, augment value alone. Alright. Uh we have Syndra with Super Bis. Super duper bis. With two healthy big grab bag. There's two two costs, so not a lot of two healthy value. And not a lot of value in the last augment either. A lot of value here, though, because it gave them anti-heal. They do have anti-heal here, which is, like, not that valuable. So, like, they're one item down. So, you can say that big grab bag actually isn't super valuable, I guess. It is Orin 1. Uh, and it is versus a whole lot of ghostly. There are four... Okay, it's four ghostly. Not a whole lot, I guess. Unified makes them relatively tanky. Magic Wand gives even more AP. Mm. The shed is wrong side, for sure. Yeah, it's definitely important to understand how combats work. This is how you call fights and how you make better decisions based on how fights are going to play out. This is a tough one. Uh, the ghosts are a little bit spread, right? Two ghosts here, two ghosts here. If this guy position like the other way and like Nautilus over here, it'd be great. Nautilus will get a really big ult and we'll get the ult off. This thing dies really quickly but gets its ghosts off. Uh, I really, I guess it kind of depends on when well, she's hitting that. Hitting that. Where does the Morellas go here or here? I think the Morellas goes here. I feel like this is probably a Morgana player win. Um, I think the Shen 3 has like a horrible time dying. Sorry, not a horrible time. Has a very hard time dying into this. Like Syndra has like a really bad match from the Shen. And as long as Shen gets hit by Syndra before Syndra gets hit by Syndra, it should be fine. This Riven is going to pop immediately, but this will cast by a little extra time. Yeah, I feel like, I feel like, and like all the ghosts are on these things, right? There's not enough front line here. And like, I feel like this Shen does just handle this Syndra super well. I was incorrect. Okay. I'd be curious to watch that fight, actually. Because I feel like, um... Apparently, you you, me both, Kevin. I'm actually really surprised. I want to see that. I want to see that board again. I think they're always current patch, yeah. Because I feel like, uh... I feel like that front line from the Cinder player just dies really quickly and the Shen does still tank. It, maybe the Cinder somehow gets on the Cinder or the, the Zyre before the Shen gets through. I don't think the Dryad stacks matter too much there, to be honest. I, um, I'm fairly certain. Huh. That's surprising. That is a surprising one. That's okay. Anyways, that was fun. Uh, maybe we'll do an endless one today too. Who, who knows? But until then, peace. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.